All right, this is the bouncy spring we're going to make. So first we have to start off in the front with a helix. And you have to rotate it on P 90 degrees. Now we need a circle. And we'll scale that down quite a bit. We can adjust it later too. And a sweep nerves. Now we grab the circle and the helix and throw in the sweep nerves. And then we adjust, <clears throat> we adjust the top and the bottom to whatever size you want to make your spring. And then the end angle will give you more coils. change the height just to make it a little more like a spring or a coil. Now you have to add two nulls. You just click both of them in the same spot. Grab one of them and drag it down to the bottom. And make sure the other one's at the very top. Now create a espresso tag on one of the null objects, doesn't matter which one, and open it up. You want to drag both nulls and your helix into the window. And we'll make these global position coordinates. And you want to add a, add a distance node which is in Calculate. And connect the ports like so. And the output goes to the height of the output properties, uh, the object properties. And that's it. Now you just animate one of the nulls. And I have mine upside down, so uh, you see it bounces down. You just flip the whole thing if you want. I'll leave mine. And there you go. And you can change it to whatever you need it to be, you know, give it more angle, makes it a tighter spring. Or you can make it have a wide bottom or a wide top, whatever you want to do. And you could also throw a vibrate tag on it. You want to enable the position, get rid of the uh, X, bring up the Y, lower that a little bit, and now it should bounce. Upside down, of course, but flip it all over and it'll bounce up. There you go.